Hey guys, welcome back to the unboxing series and I haven't done one for a very long time but this is the first unboxing video I'm doing in 2024 and it's going to be on the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Apatosaurus action figure. Now last year I did an unboxing and review video on another long neck dinosaur, the Brachiosaurus but now I'm doing this one on a childhood favorite of mine the Apatosaurus. And let me tell you something about this dinosaur. The Apatosaurus was one of the larger dinosaurs of the late Jurassic period, known to weigh about 23 tons and grow from 22 to 24 meters long. And looking at this toy, it's gonna be another really huge figure in my collection. Also, why is there Japanese text on the package? I don't know why, but I'm alright with that. No, it's not a big deal. So this is the back of the package and at least it does show the English translation there, which clearly tells it is a Patasaurus. Also, why is there like a picture of what well, I think is an Argentinosaurus picture at the back there? I think that's from DK or something like this. It also tells me that this Apatosaurus is about 105 centimeters long or 41 inches. So it's definitely going to be a very long one. Now without further ado, let's get this dinosaur out of its packaging. So yeah, this is a really huge package. So yeah, like the Brachiosaurus I unboxed last year, this one has separate pieces. The body, the neck and head, and the tail. Which I'm about to connect right now. It doesn't look like it seems to be that big. So let me try and reassemble this. It's really hard to, to pull out, by the way. Hit the... This is the body. This is the tail. And this is the head. It's very heavy though, by the way. Alright, got it out. So yeah, this is the Apatosaurus parts that I need to construct. So let's go ahead and you have to clip them on so that it can make like a, until you hear like a sort of snappy sound. So I'm gonna do it real quick. Snap it on. Good. And, all right, I think it's snapped on, guys. And now here it is, guys, the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Apatosaurus. Now let's take a look at this gigantic model. It looks actually really cool. It's one of the bigger dinosaurs I have. It's actually not that big when compared to the Brachiosaurus, and not as tall either. So this is what the tail can do. It can actually move. It can move like sideways, I guess. You can see here. And the neck, same thing with the neck. It's a shame it can't go up, but that's all right then. It's pretty hard and stiff to move at times, you know. Now let's look at the head. The head's pretty detailed as well. It's got the, it's got some nice details on the head there. And I think it's hard to, can you open the mouth? Oh, you can. Yeah, just like that. Now, the mouth is pretty small, but that's all right then. I guess Apatosaurus have like pretty small mouths. I also like the very nice detailing on the neck and the back here. Those green stripes. And those feet are pretty good. So you can make the Apatosaurus move its legs. Now these are like the furthest that the Apatosaurus legs can go if you pull it like this. Same thing goes for these back legs there. It's also got five toes on each foot. And speaking of a foot, there's no DNA scan code like there's no flap on the Apatosaurus so that you can see that it's DNA scan code. No, 
It's apparently on one of his feet. There is the DNA scan code on the, the Apatosaurus's left back foot, is that what you call it? And also you can turn this part of the dinosaur's tail. Now if I compare the Apatosaurus with my Brachiosaurus here, you can see some vast differences. Brachiosaurus is obviously the bigger one, while Apatosaurus is like the smaller. But I think the Apatosaurus is the longer one of the two. I also forgot to mention that you can turn the Apatosaurus's head like this, like sideways. So what do I think of this model? Well, I think this model looks really, really great. It's got great detailing, decent articulation, and it just looks as realistic as the Apatosaurus you see in the movies. So, I would give this 10 out of 10 points, since I don't see a lot of flaws with it. And if you're a dinosaur lover or a Jurassic Park and World fan, then I suggest you pick this up. But be warned, it's actually quite expensive. I also heard that Mattel is going to be making a Diplodocus model in the Jurassic World range. And I'm really excited for that because Diplodocus is my most favorite sauropod of all time with Apatosaurus coming in second place. And I really hope Diplodocus comes out sometime this year because I would really get that one in my collection. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and turn on notifications so you don't miss anything. This is ZESG54 Studios signing off and saying thanks for watching. This has been a production of...